Hello, I'm David with IFS Coatings. I am the technical service manager. And today we're gonna to do a crosshatch adhesion test. Now, typically what you'll find in the crosshatch adhesion comes in a kit. In this case, we have the tape, the crosshatch device. We also have a small brush. And in some cases too, you can also have a magnifying glass so you can check. With that, you will actually take this crosshatch device and going down to the substrate, you'll make like a crosshatch or a, I would say a tic-tac-toe scribe across the surface of this. You'll brush off any of the residue and we're using a little bit thinner tape today, which normally it is a little wider, but because of expediency, we'll use this particular one. We will apply the tape over the substrate and we'll rub that on. Remove as many air, if not all, air bubbles as possible. Now, one of the things that I wanted to point out that we are using the gloss black, which is a very high gloss, uh, high DOI type finish, and uh, very good looking product. And we want to make sure, like I said, that we get a good result. Otherwise, we may have to uh, go back and see where our problems are. But in this case, we'll go ahead and rip the tape off. And then we look at the back of it to make sure that we don't see any of these cross hatches coming off. Now, we can also go back and look at the rating card, which is a uh, ASTM. On the cross hatch adhesion test, there is a rating. And it goes from 5B on down with 5B being the best. So when this test is performed, you can go back to this rating card and find out just where it falls. If we do have issues with a failure, one of the things we have to go back and look at, one is cure, the other is also pretreatment. So these are some of the things too we want to keep in mind when performing this test. And in this particular case, we did have a 5B test which is passing.